So I'd like to know, what's the best piece of advice your parents gave you about the responsibility of owning La Fonda? Well, I, I remember um, my father saying, uh, it's a family, and it's just, it's like our own family, but it's even a greater family, and every, there are no secrets. Everyone knows everything, and they'll know it even before you know that they know it. So just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. And re Apparently, you know, represent yourself as such. Very mm -hmm. good advice. Mm -hmm. Any other advice? I remember on several occasions Dad telling us that he did he never wanted to see La Fonda become a Ritz Carlton or any other corporate chain. And my parents were very well traveled from Antarctica up to Alaska and everything in between. And they love staying at the Ritz Carlton right. and many other right. places, right. but there is a difference at La Fonda, and there's a difference from being a hotel that's steeped in tradition, where he knew the workers here, he knew their families, and there was a long time tradition. And the other thing that that I recall so clearly was that whenever I came into the hotel with my parents. As soon as we entered the door, he would turn to me and say, do you know how long Monte Chavez has worked here? It was decades. And then, and then he would say, do you know how long Lalo has worked here? Lalo Ortega has worked here? And, and he, would, he would say whatever it was at that particular year. Yeah. And it ended up being, was it 61 years? Something close to that, yes. Yes. Yeah. Of and generations yeah. right. of his family, yes. and, and that he had put children and grandchildren through college. Right, yeah. and he was the head bellman, right. recently retired. Right, and he was so thrilled with that. He was so impressed with the loyalty that the employees had at La Fonda, and he always told us that. 